And there's a lot of concerns with the economy here because people are scared to go out. Uh, but I will just say, one of the things you can do, if you're healthy, uh, you and your family, it's a great time to just go out, go to a local restaurant. Yeah. Likely you can get in, get in easily. There's, you know, let's not hurt uh, the working people in this country that are relying on wages and tips to keep their small business going. You know, going. we're very so sympathetic. Don't run to the, don't run to the, Understood. Yeah, just don't run to the grocery store and buy buy you know four thousand dollars of food. Right, they're cleaning go, off the shelves. You know, shelves. go to your local uh, local pub. We want yeah. to be very sympathetic. I honestly don't know what's worse: a United States congressman suggesting that people go out in public amid a global pandemic when the only expert advice is to stay inside, or someone who purports to be some type of journalist nodding happily along and offering no pushback whatsoever. Now, I know that crafting a response to a public health emergency is far from Nunez's specialty of getting himself involved in international extortion schemes on which he's simultaneously supposed to be conducting oversight, but at the very least, the very least, he could defer to the medical professionals. And those people have been crystal clear in their messaging, and that is to practice social distancing. Stay home, eliminate contact with others, and don't give the virus the opportunity to spread. Even if you're young, even if you're healthy, even if you're asymptomatic, you can still act as a vector to spread it to someone who may not be young, who may not be healthy, who may quickly develop symptoms. Do not be the person who gets your parents or grandparents infected because you felt pretty good and decided to take an unnecessary risk. And I should mention too that it's ironic that suddenly Nunes is worried about the working people in this country. Because in actuality, what will hurt them is being out in public. If we had strong government protections for people, protections like paid sick leave and universal health care and a higher minimum wage, people wouldn't need to show up to work amid a global pandemic just to be able to put food on the table. But Republicans have spent years blocking these common sense proposals and are only now realizing that a population with absolutely no protections from our government has been put in a position Position where they're effectively being forced to go to work in a global pandemic because they can't afford not to. And by the way, it's not just Nunez out here spouting dangerous information and pushing back on the advice of the experts. When Vail closed their ski resorts, Jeff Kotkamp, the former lieutenant governor of Florida, took to Twitter writing, thank you for making this announcement as we are driving to Vail. Came all the way from Florida only to have our family's vacation destroyed. And frankly, Vail should know better than to let a global pandemic get in the way of Jeff's ski vacation. Texas's Republican Senator John Cornyn tweeted a photo of a glass of Corona beer while at a public bar amid reports that we practice social distancing. The Republican governor of Oklahoma, Kevin Stitt, tweeted a photo of himself and his family out at a restaurant, bragging how it was packed. Again, this amid reports that the only way to beat it is to practice social distancing. Tim Eyman, the Republican candidate for governor in Washington, spent the weekend trying to plan a rally for 251 people, which is exactly one person above the 250 person limit imposed by Democratic Governor Jay Inslee, saying, 251 is the number of patriots I hope will join me at Oak Harbor today. I'm bringing a six pack of Corona. Again, social distance. <sighs> Forget it. And look, the Republican Party flying in the face of science is nothing new. But framing that defiance as patriotism is just about the most absurd thing I've seen in my entire life. As if we're just going to overcome the virus with a good old dose of American exceptionalism. And so we'll go to bars and restaurants because if we let it change our way of life, then the terrorists win. Like, no. The virus doesn't care if you walk outside carrying a 12 by 18 foot American flag and a boombox blaring God bless America. If you go out into public, then you're putting yourself at immediate risk of contracting the virus. Even if you don't get sick, you could pass it along to someone who could, including older people or those with immunodeficiencies, the groups most susceptible to it. So no, we won't beat this thing by going to the local Applebee's and drinking Bud Lights and buying cars made in America. We will beat it, we'll flatten the curve by listening to the experts and practicing social distancing. All I can say is that if you live in Devin Nunes' district, and especially if you voted for him, Think about whether you and your family are better off as the result of his appearance on national television. Think about whether you're benefiting from having this person in a position of power. And when he's on the ballot in November, vote accordingly.